Urge is deeper muscle, like this, can produce as many as a million larvae okay. in a year. It's a of, of the transformation of the ecosystem. Yeah. We'll have your one. Top 2015, the zebra mussels were discovered. Actually, right, a piece of, it was a piece of trash that uh, one of the undergraduates pulled out of the water right over by that little bench yeah. there. So things have changed so dramatically, um, so quickly, that uh, struggling to keep up and, and alter our methods to uh, continue to characterize the bottom of the lake. So, uh, Ellen and I think we'll jump in and, and maybe we'll bring some zebra mussels up to look at and some of the sort of benthic algae mats down there um, to give you an idea of what's going on down there. They produce huge numbers of larvae. They're easily transported from one place to another because the larvae are invisible and they're in water, right? So a boater could easily move some water at the bottom of the boat to a new lake so they can disperse readily. Um, and they can reach incredibly high densities like we're seeing here. So I think everything, I mean, that's why it's, it's the most successful invasive species in the history of the world. And uh, you can see we got a pretty good coverage of zebra mussels now. This time last year at this sort of dive site, uh, a rock like this might have maybe one zebra mussel on it. And now, you know, we've got um, sort of several orders of magnitude probably above that. Get this real stringy, kind of clingy algae stuff um, that could become sort of the replacement of the green algae that's floating around in the middle of the lake that we're used to. Uh, because the zebra mussels will filter feed that out, but sort of sequester its nutrients sort of on the bottom of the lake, provides opportunity for this real stringy stuff to take off. And I'm guessing now all of these are going to be reproducing this summer and they can reach incredibly high densities like we're seeing here. So no other invasive that has been as successful as the zebra mussel on this because it's just perfect. I'm looking at these thinking, yeah, they're probably going to reproduce this year, which means that there is going to be a vast reproductive event this summer.